This is Teachable Moments with April podcast, and you guessed it, I'm your host, April. If you're a returning listener and a part of the Teachable Moments with April podcast family, welcome back. For those of you who are checking me out for the first time, well, hello and welcome. To everyone listening, look for the Teachable Moments that are all around you. Enjoy. Let us pray. As we gather here in the harbor of your safety, we thank you for fellowship. We ask that you will strengthen us, restore us, and inspire us with your love. Lord, would you fill us with your peace so that as we journey onwards, we would pour out your love and grace to others. We ask that our souls would catch the wind of your spirit so that we would take your promises to all the earth. In your Son, Jesus Christ's name. This uh, this particular prayer is courtesy of Lord's Prayer Words.com. This is your host, April, from Teachable Moments with April Podcast. This episode is courtesy of spiritual support for caregivers and those who love them by Unity Ministries. Devotional number 10, The Wisdom of Myrtle Fillmore. The founders of the Unity Spiritual Movement, Charles and Myrtle Fillmore, healed themselves of lifelong ailments using prayer and the creative power of thought. Now, Myrtle later wrote extensively about healing and she continually answered letters asking her to pray for the healing of others. Now, these are some of her thoughts that we're going to go over. Previously unpublished, mind you, and how best to be of service, you get me. She cautioned against martyrdom and championed boundaries, actually, and self-care, even back then. Okay, here's the first uh, um, gem that she dropped. Now, while it is a virtue to be always ready to help others, we must be sure that we are truly helping them and not hindering them by allowing them to continue in the unwise habits that have brought them to lack. Don't feel that you must open your hands and pass out everything that you have. Conservation is one of the rules of success. You must expect others to do their part. And everyone, no matter how many failures he or she has had, can do his or her part. Next, do you demand of others? Do you demand of others that which you demand of yourself? that they use good judgment and self-denial when necessary? Do you make them understand that God prospers those who do their part and that you expect them to do their part? The next one is, there is a saying that says this, God helps those who help themselves. You are God's executive and your indwelling Lord demands on you to make his glory manifest then be up and doing do the will of God do the will of him who sent you in doing so you are not only helping yourself you are helping others affirmations for caregivers A loving presence is with me, right here and right now. I live in peace, happiness, and abundance. All things before me are in divine order. I live from peaceful, unlimited joy within, expecting only the best. God's perfect peace comforts and soothes me now. I am always enfolded in divine love. I release any confusing thoughts and I act in confidence. 
and the indwelling Spirit of God powerfully guides me. You were just listening to Teachable Moments with April podcast. I truly hope you enjoyed this episode. We invite you to stay connected with us on our other social media platforms such as TikTok, Pinterest, Instagram, Threads, and YouTube. Also, check us out on our official podcast landing page on podpage.com slash teachable moments with April to see all our content in one place. You can leave messages and give feedback and more. Thank you.